we begin conceptualizing and working on the next year's program literally days after the, the previous year's show. Like this year, it'll be a week or so when uh, smoke settles literally and we, we get a chance to debrief and get a chance to catch our breath again. But we're communicating with Las Vegas events with Tim and the gang there on what we're going to do next year. We kind of debrief what worked, um, not necessarily what didn't work, but what really got the crowd. The beauty of being up on the Rio is you can, you know, and as also as the designer of the program, you know when you're going to turn that crowd on and you know when the crowd is going to be maybe a little bit quieter because the scene may be a little bit more delicate, but get that rock and roll bro bro bold program and you know when they're going to react. So when you hear that crowd reaction, you say, okay, that worked, you know, that really worked and certain movements work really well. So we start working on it really literally after the program is over with. Um, then we also look at the security aspect, the installation, the logistics, because each year we try to push the envelope. So it's, it's important to know what really worked well and what didn't. So it's, it's right after the show. And then generally around the summertime is when we get into what t talking about the theme. Uh, typically the theme of the program is encapsulating maybe what happened that year, give tribute to certain activities and actions that happened throughout the year. So we wait till about the middle of the year because if you start looking at the theme in the beginning of the year, a lot of things could happen between then. And once the theme is somewhat set, then we, then we put a draft uh, soundtrack together, the music score. Um, that's generally around right after 4th of July, we'll really dive into the music score, get the music score uh, written, put that together, and then I sit down into the studio sometime in, in August and actually script second by second what's going to happen in the sky, the selection of our inventory that matches the fireworks and matches the theme also. And then the logistics are happening all at that all throughout that period, the logistics of how many pyrotechnicians we need and uh, communicating with the Clark County Fire Department and the Las Vegas Fire Department, all of that takes place throughout the entire year. We'll touch those buildings at least twice throughout the year mm -hmm. before we actually come here to install the program. So it's a lot of logistics. The creativity is also important. Um, and it starts immediately. What's unique about Las Vegas and, and America's party being New Year's Eve, uh, we, we, um, we display about 32 different locations worldwide on New Year's Eve. Las Vegas is the biggest stage that we could ever ask for and then that we perform on. Um, it's unique because one we're firing, displaying off the rooftops of very expensive buildings with audience in a very close proximity. So the planning behind that and the unique nature of the product that we put on those buildings is important. But the beauty of it is from the design perspective is the stage is so big and the audience is, is in a position where they can either see multiple buildings or they only see one building. So the show has to be designed uniquely where if you're only in front of the Venetian, that program looks similar to the program that's coming, say, off the Stratosphere or Treasure Island. But if you see the entire strip, it's one performance. So it's very unique in that nature because of the size. You're talking about three miles or more than three miles of distance that we're trying to cover. Um, the nature of the, the audience that's here is unique to the extent that they're in the building, they're, they're gambling, they're having a good time, they're seeing a show, but they're looking at the watch and they know they've got to be out on the strip for midnight. And that energy that builds throughout the whole day, you could just see it, you could feel it. And certainly the energy that happens at that midnight moment is unequaled around the, around the entire world. So we love this, this location. We live in New York, our facilities in New York. Obviously the ball drop is in New York, but we're here on Las Vegas, in Las Vegas on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Our, our relationship with Las Vegas events has grown to be very strong and an and understanding of each one of our challenges uh, to the extent that one of the main um, attributes that we bring to the program on top of a beautiful design program, as we've been told, um, is the ability to work with all of the authorities, the ability to consistently deliver the performance on time and deliver a safe performance. Uh, there was a number of years ago when there was the fire on the Monte Carlo Hotel and it was not related to fireworks at all, but mm -hmm. there was a very astute level of concern about putting fireworks on the roof of the building. And you know, we work with the authorities and, and we're at a point right now that we're firing on every single building that we display from. Uh, we've had a very good track record as it relates to safety and the authorities, they appreciate that. There's many things that they have to worry about to produce a show of this size and have to worry about the 
the, the fireworks themselves is one thing, but we recognize that they have other things that they're worrying about, crowd control and security and everything else. So I think the working relationship between Las Vegas events leading the team, our company, Grucci, and working with the authorities makes the program, not that it's a cut and paste every year, because every year it's different, but a comfort level that we all know what we have to do to make it successful. Over the years, absolutely. Uh, the one that stands out the most, probably because it was in the very beginning, uh, is the 2002 performance that we had. When we, were, we displayed off of 11 rooftops, and actually the valley, we had six of the station casino properties in the valley all at the same time, coupled with the Stratosphere and Fremont Street ex experience, all synchronized to each other. Um, and it was also in the beginning of our, um, our um, development a lot of the technologies, the computer systems, being able to integrate all the properties as one. Uh, the photo behind me there is, is, that, is that performance and it was just a saturation of fireworks and it was also the first time it was really done to that scale. So we set a benchmark that's always one that you're reaching for each and every year. Uh, so that one, that one to me is a special, special performance.